Over the past two decades, China has dramatically expanded its economic ties with Africa, becoming the continent's largest trading partner and a major source of financing and construction. In 2024 alone, China announced over $51 billion in new infrastructure deals. But what's driving this building boom? It's a mix of China's hunger for Africa's vast natural resources, its search for new markets, and its desire to project geopolitical power. The impact has been transformative, though not without controversy, as we'll see. Will they bring prosperity and development, or are there hidden costs and risks? Keep these questions in mind as we explore the top 10 Chinese megaprojects in Africa. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the impressive Subray Hydroelectric Power Station in Ivory Coast. Situated on the mighty Sassandra River, this colossal dam boasts a generating capacity of 275 megawatts, enough to power over 200,000 Ivorian homes. The project, which cost a total of $572 million, was largely financed by China with the Export-Import Bank of China providing 85% of the funding. Sino Hydro, a Chinese state-owned hydropower engineering and construction company, completed the dam in 2017, overcoming challenges such as difficult terrain and heavy rainfall during the construction process. The Subray Dam is a significant step forward for Ivory Coast's energy independence. Before its construction, the country relied heavily on energy imports from neighboring countries. Now, with this homegrown power source, Ivory Coast is better positioned to meet its growing electricity demands and even export surplus power. Sailing into the number nine spot is the Walvis Bay Container Terminal Expansion Project in Namibia. This $300 million mega project, masterfully executed by China Harbor Engineering Company, reached completion in 2019 after nearly four years of construction. The project involved dredging the port's navigation channel, reclaiming 40 hectares of land from the sea, and constructing a new 600-meter key wall. The results are impressive. The port's annual handling capacity has skyrocketed from 350,000 TEU to 750,000 TEU. That's the equivalent of 750,000 standard 20-foot shipping containers. That's about the same as the Port of Valencia in Spain, Europe's fifth busiest container port. To put this into perspective, if you lined up all those containers end to end, they would stretch from New York City to Los Angeles and back again. But why is this project so significant? For starters, it positions Walvis Bay as a key trade hub for the Southern African region. With its increased capacity and efficiency, the port can now accommodate larger vessels and handle more cargo, boosting Namibia's import and export potential. Interestingly, the Walvis Bay expansion is just one piece of a larger puzzle. It's part of the Walvis Bay Corridor Group initiative, which aims to develop a network of transport routes linking Namibia to its landlocked neighbors like Botswana, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. By improving regional connectivity, this project could help unlock trade and economic growth across Southern Africa. At number eight, we have Egypt's new administrative capital. This colossal $45 billion project is essentially building a new mega city from scratch. Located just 45 kilometers east of Cairo, this ambitious development will sprawl across 700 square kilometers. That's about the size of Singapore. China is heavily involved in both the financing and construction of this ambitious endeavor with Chinese companies like China State Construction Engineering Corporation and China Fortune Land Development Co. playing key roles. The new capital will feature state-of-the-art government districts, cutting-edge financial centers, a sprawling green space larger than Central Park, and even an iconic one-kilometer tall tower that will redefine Egypt's skyline. Upon completion, this marvel of urban planning is expected to house up to 6.5 million residents create over 2 million jobs, and ease the pressure on the heavily congested Cairo. It's a project that not only addresses Egypt's rapid urbanization challenges, but also serves as a model for sustainable, smart city development in Africa and beyond. Surging into the number seven position is Angola's monumental Kakulo Kabasa hydropower project. This titan of a dam, located on the powerful Kwanzaa River, 
is set to generate a staggering 2,172 megawatts of electricity, more than double Angola's current installed capacity. With a price tag of $4.5 billion financed by China's development bank, this project is a massive investment in Angola's energy future. Construction giant China Gizhoba Group, known for their work on the Three Gorges Dam in China, broke ground on the project in 2017, employing over 10,000 workers and overcoming challenges such as rugged terrain and limited infrastructure in the region. Once operational, the Kakolo Kabasa Dam will not only light up homes and power industries across Angola, but also export electricity to neighboring countries like Namibia and South Africa. It's a project that has the potential to transform Angola into a regional energy hub and drive economic growth throughout Southern Africa. However, as with any large-scale dam project, there are environmental and social concerns to consider. The dam will flood a vast area, potentially displacing communities and impacting local ecosystems. It's crucial that these impacts are carefully managed and mitigated to ensure the project's long-term sustainability. At number six spot is Tanzania's ambitious Port of Bagamoyo project. With a projected cost of $10 billion, this megaport is set to transform Tanzania's maritime trade and position the country as a gateway to East Africa. China Merchants Port, a state-owned Chinese company, has taken the lead in financing and developing this project, which is strategically located just 75 kilometers north of Dar es Salaam. Upon completion, the port is expected to have an annual capacity of 20 million TEU. That's more than seven times the container volume handled by the port of Mombasa, currently East Africa's largest port. To give you a sense of scale, 20 million TEU is roughly equivalent to the combined container throughput of all African ports in 2019. The port of Bagamoyo is not just a game changer for Tanzania. It has the potential to reshape trade flows across the entire East African region, connecting landlocked countries like Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi to global markets. While the project has faced some delays due to financing challenges and environmental concerns, it remains a key priority for Tanzania's government. While the final outcome remains to be seen, one thing is clear. If realized, the port of Bagamoyo could reshape the economic landscape of East Africa for decades to come. At the number five spot is Nigeria's Lagos Ibadan Railway. This 156 km standard gauge railway line constructed by China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation came with a price tag of $1.5 billion. Completed in 2021 after several delays, the railway now connects two of Nigeria's most populous and economically vital cities, Lagos and Ibadan. The journey, which previously took several hours by road, can now be completed in just over two hours by train with trains running at speeds of up to 150 kilometers per hour. But why is this railway so significant? For starters, it's a major upgrade from the old, narrow gauge line that dated back to the colonial era. That line was slow, inefficient, and prone to frequent breakdowns. In contrast, the new standard gauge railway is faster, smoother, and more reliable. Moreover, the Lagos Ibadan Railway is just the first phase of a much larger project the Lagos Kano Standard Gauge Railway. This ambitious initiative aims to connect Nigeria's economic heartland in the south with its populous northern regions, stretching over 1,100 kilometers. By improving connectivity and reducing transportation costs, the railway could be a game changer for Nigeria's economy. At the number four position is another Nigerian mega project, the Mambilla Hydroelectric Power Project, this behemoth of a dam located on the picturesque Donga River in Taraba State, is set to generate a staggering 3,050 megawatts of electricity upon completion. That's enough to power millions of Nigerian homes and meet nearly a quarter of the country's current electricity demand. To give you a sense of scale, the Mambilla Dam will generate 1.5 times more electricity than the famous Hoover Dam in the United States. With a hefty price tag of 
$5.8 billion, Chinese construction giant Sino Hydro has taken on the challenge of bringing this project to life in partnership with several Nigerian companies. Sino Hydro, known for their work on the massive Three Gorges Dam in China, brings a wealth of experience to the table. Construction began in 2018, and the dam is expected to be fully operational by 2030. At number three position, we have Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. This electrified cross-border railway line stretches 756 kilometers, linking landlocked Ethiopia to the strategic port of Djibouti. It's a project of immense significance both countries, with far-reaching implications for trade, development, and regional integration. Two Chinese giants, China Railway Group and China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, joined forces to bring this $4 billion project to fruition with substantial financial backing from the Export-Import Bank of China. Completed in 2018 after nearly six years of construction, the railway has transformed the way people and goods move between Ethiopia and Djibouti. What once took days by road can now be accomplished in a mere 12 hours by train, with freight trains running at speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour. But the significance of this railway goes beyond just transportation. It's estimated that the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway will boost Ethiopia's GDP by 2.2% percent annually, create over 20,000 jobs, and reduce the cost of doing business in the region. For Ethiopia, a country with a population of over 110 million and one of the fastest growing economies in Africa, this railway is a game changer that will help drive industrialization, attract foreign investment, and deepen regional integration. For Djibouti, the railway is a key part of its strategy to position itself as a regional logistics hub. At number two spot is the magnificent Maputo Katembe Bridge in Mozambique. This engineering marvel, constructed by China Road and Bridge Corporation, holds the prestigious title of Africa's longest suspension bridge, stretching an incredible three kilometers across the Maputo Bay. The $785 million project, inaugurated in 2018 after four years of construction, has connected the capital city Maputo with Katembe District across the bay. Before the bridge, the only way to cross was by ferry, a slow and often unreliable process that could take hours. Now, the journey takes just minutes, opening up new opportunities for commerce, commuting, and tourism. The bridge is capable of handling up to 1,500 vehicles per hour, but the impact of this bridge goes beyond just saving time. It's estimated that the Maputo Katembe Bridge will boost Mozambique's GDP by 3%. For the people of Katembe, a district that has long been isolated from the economic heart of Mozambique. This bridge is a lifeline that connects them to opportunities and a better future. And at number one position, we have the Nairobi Mombasa Standard Gauge Railway in Kenya. This 472 kilometers railway line, affectionately known as the Madaraka Express, has revolutionized transportation in East Africa's largest economy. Built by China Road and Bridge Corporation at a cost of $3.2 billion, with 90% of the funding coming from the Export Import Bank of China, this railway has slashed travel times between Nairobi and Mombasa from over 10 hours to just 4.5 hours, but the significance of this project goes beyond just saving time and stimulate the growth of new industries along the corridor. It's a project that has the potential to transform Kenya into a regional transportation hub and a gateway to East Africa. But there's more to this story than just economics. Some experts believe that the railway is part of China's broader strategy to increase its influence in Africa, a modern-day Silk Road that will deepen trade ties and shape geopolitics for decades to come. Regardless of the geopolitical implications, one thing is clear. The Nairobi-Mombasa Standard Gauge Railway is a game changer for Kenya and a symbol of Africa's infrastructure renaissance. It's a project that not only connects cities, but also connects people to opportunities and a brighter future. From the deserts of Egypt to the ports of Tanzania, China's investment in Africa, totaling trillions of dollars, is a strategic move that intertwines economic growth with geopolitical influence. By funding infrastructure projects across the continent, China not only secures access to vital natural resources, but also strengthens its diplomatic ties with African nations. So what do you think? Which of these mega projects impresses you the most? Do you think China's investments will transform Africa for the better, or could there be a downside? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon!